I could be fighting on 21st, and you know what? It would be nice if I was Daniel Dubois. What did he say? Oh. I, just need, I just need a fight. <laughs> I just need a fight. I just want to fight, and let's get it on. Joseph Parker looking for the smoky smoke. And that, my friend, is no jokey joke. You're a man. If I tell you I'm good, probably you'll say I'm supposed to. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxing Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So check this out, man. Look here. So we have Joseph Parker apparently calling out Daniel Dubois. Yes, the IBF heavyweight champion again again because he said hey man i picked anthony joshua and he was looking for that rematch you know to avenge one of his losses but he said hey if daniel dubois wins i want that smoke too and here in the video that i showed you before you know at during the intro joseph parker has reiterated that hey man you know daniel dubois won i want daniel dubois and he says hey i have a fight coming up you know later on and hopefully that'd be daniel dubois but it seems like because Joseph Parker is the interim champion of the WBO sanctioned body right behind Usyk, you know, this puts him at a disadvantage. You'd be like, why? Doc, well, the reason why it puts him at a disadvantage is because obviously since he's an interim champion, he, since he's been declared that, he has been removed out of the sanction and out of the rankings for the other sanctioned bodies, the WBA wbc and ibf right so it's kind of an injustice to him because obviously he would be next up in line to face Usyk, but Usyk is tied up with his rematch which could be a potential trilogy with tyson fury you know what i'm saying and so it puts him at a, at a slight disadvantage and of course the other title is held by daniel dubois and he was supposedly going to fight anthony joshua but it seems like anthony joshua is not taking it upon himself to immediately enact his rematch you know what i'm saying that he has his rematch clause that he has that he's able to exercise if he wants to and i think that's okay because and not saying anthony joshua doesn't have a chance to beat daniel dubois in the rematch because he did hurt him in the fifth round right before he got knocked the freak out you got knocked the fuck out man give me my goddamn money and, <laughs> and and he's also a formidable fighter however you know i think it would behoove him to take a little time time off you know or take a step back or wait for the winner of tyson fury and alexander Usyk, or the loser if it is uh, Tyson Fury because they'll still have that commonality that they both lost to Usyk not once but twice you know if in the event that Tyson Fury does lose a rematch so I'm not mad at Anthony Joshua for not immediately jumping the gun and 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 um committing fully committing to this uh February 22nd date that's potentially set for Daniel Dubois which it seems like him Queensberry Promotions and Frank Warren have already committed to so with Anthony Joshua fight in limbo that rematch looking less and less likely the more we progress then Joseph Parker saying, hey, man, you know, I want that fight. And Andy Lee, who's his trainer, has also reiterated that and reflected that same desire to fight Daniel Dubois. I think this is a good fight, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of us, including myself, would like to see uh, Daniel Dubois versus Bacoli. Well, Bacoli's tied up with Ajit Kabayel. Even du Dubois and Bacoli's a great fight, but even Dubois and Kabayel's a good fight. But Joseph Parker's also a good fight, too, and I think he's also the most deserving of a title shot man so shout out to joseph parker he's been very patient he's been overlooked many times and he's a formidable fighter i think he's been overlooked because you know he is officially you know um by the website he's a he's a queensberry fighter you know and moses atom has been calling him out but he's not really full-blown a queensberry fighter right it's like a third party affiliation type deal with with him and queensberry promotions but you know moses atama has been calling him out so that could potentially lead to an easy fight to facilitate to facilitate excuse me dang that word kicked by behind right there ain't it facilitate so now the comment the the, the, the great thing about that is that you know daniel dubois is with queensberry as well so there's already uh, uh, a relationship established there to help easily facilitate that fight as well so be on the lookout for potentially Joseph Parker returning to the ring against Daniel Dubois. And who I'm picking right now? I'm going to just drop the bomb on you. Yeah, you know what that means. Dynamite. I'm going with Daniel Dynamite Dubois. But I wouldn't, I cannot count out Joseph Parker. And he's a very good fighter. And he's been stepping up lately too. His career has been on a resurgence just like Daniel Dubois. So I think this is a great intriguing matchup if it actually comes into fruition. But if not, I know that Daniel Dubois' next fight is going to be a banger for real, bruv. So let's let, let, let's, let's be on the lookout for that, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about in the comments. If you were excited for uh, Daniel Dubois versus Joseph Parker, would you prefer him to fight somebody else? Even if you want to talk about somebody that's not that's not currently available like Bacoli and Caballero because they're tied up in a potential fight. Or, you know, no matter who you want to talk who you want to talk about would you rather see an aj and dubois rematch y'all let me know in the comments also don't forget to like the video but most importantly remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing the doctor's out Peace.
From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.